Good afternoon, I'm here in Thompson Station, Tennessee, Middle Tennessee. It's a cold day, about 29 degrees. I've got my uh, Ukrainian hat on. Used to be a Russian hat, I'm calling it a Ukrainian hat now. We're here to look at some of the uh, nooks and crannies of the battlefield, something I don't think uh, people normally get to see here at Thompson Station. This battle was fought March 5th, 1863, last weekend. I was out here last weekend looking around, walking the excellent Preservation Park, which has preserved some of the battlefield. What you're seeing right here, this is the, the railroad line that was here in 1863. Uh, uh, the, I believe it was the Nashville Decatur line. Thompson Station's in that direction. That is south, behind me is north. Off to my left over here is the uh, old Columbia Pike State Route 31 today. And if you're familiar with Thompson Station, a homestead manor, which was here during the battle, that's, that was the home of Lieutenant Thomas Banks, Confederate officer. He is no relation to me, by the way. At least I don't think. I'll have to do a little more genealogy searching. So what I've done is I've walked behind Homestead Manor, and what I'm gonna show you is one of the nooks and crannies that I kind of got excited about when I was diving into a archive a couple weeks ago. And on March 5th, 1863, the 19th and the 22nd Wisconsin were positioned on the road over that way. Uh, they were uh, uh, quickly moved out of that position. They redeployed, they came across the railroad and there are two soldiers in that regiment who I'm very interested in. One was Private Judson Austin, and he was serving in that regiment with his younger brother, Pasqua Austin. They were both from rural Michigan. And one of the things that we're blessed with is the fact that Austin wrote his, his wife Sarah quite often during the Civil War, and all of those letters, many of those letters are in an archive at the University of Michigan. So Austin, Justin Austin and his brother come scurrying across the railroad tracks here on March 5th, 1863. And as they're scurrying up this hill right here in front of us to go over that way, they're under fire from Confederates down the railroad track, down in that direction. And one of the things that uh, Austin, after the battle, writes a, a letter to his wife, and in it, you know, as he's in uh, roughly this position right here along the tracks, uh, he's under fire, and he writes to his wife, he says, this rascal fired up the grade at two or three that stood waiting for the rest to get along out of the way. The ball passed close between Pack, that's his brother, that was his nickname for his brother, the ball passed between Pack and myself, taking a little bark off from two or three of my fingers on my right hand. We both stepped back a step or two where we, where we are, were concealed behind the point of a projecting rock that happened to stick out on the side of the grade and unloaded our muskets at the butternut. Well, I think I'm pretty sure that this is the projecting rock it was sticking out of the grade right here. And I'm gonna hopefully not fall on my face as I, hopefully there'll be no train that'll be <laughs> barreling down the tracks anytime soon, or <laughs> this might be my last video. But I believe this is the projecting rock. Ah, here we go. Oh, look at that. There's an old, wow, that's cool. That's an old, that might be a piece of an old, one of those electrical doodads. I might take that with me, may pocket that with me. But I believe this is the projecting rock right here along this railroad line that Judson Austin of the 19th Michigan was talking about. Uh, I have not found any other projecting rocks down this track, and this seems to be about the right position. Now the 19th Michigan ends up, they're part of Coburn's Brigade, John Coburn's Brigade, uh, of four regiments. They are, almost the entire brigade is captured by uh, Nathan Bedford Forrest. 
the uh, cavalry genius and notorious slave trader, as I like to refer to him. Um, uh, more than a thousand of those soldiers get sent to Libby Prison. Uh, Judson ends up surviving. His brother, however, is killed over in this field over here. His younger brother, Pasqua, is killed. Uh, he eventually uh, is buried on the, uh, on the battlefield. Uh, and then uh, probably after the war is disinterred and now he's buried at the uh, National Cemetery in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. There I am. Again, I've got my, it's cold here in Middle Tennessee. I've got my Ukrainian hat on. I'm gonna come up here on the railroad tracks and kinda, man, I hope a train doesn't come barreling down these tracks because my girls will lose their papa if that happens. Anyway, uh, if you get a chance to come here to Middle Tennessee, most people, if you're battlefield tramping, will go to Franklin. There's some sights to see in Nashville, but don't forget Thompson Station. And, and if you're into bourbon, there's an excellent small batch distillery across from the depot in Thompson Station, which is in that direction. Again, I'm gonna orient you that way is south. Nathan Bedford Forest troops came across the pike this way, that way, to basically uh, nearly surround it. John Coburn's brigade, of whom more than 1,000 of those soldiers surrendered. But again, this is one of those nooks and crannies that's pretty cool to see, and thanks to what, uh, that letter in the archives from Judson Austin that he wrote to his wife Sarah, we kind of have a, we have a cool reference point of the projecting rock back here. And uh, again, they were firing, uh, Judson and, and his 19th Michigan comrades were, were firing down the railroad track here on March 5th, 1863. All right, that's one of the nooks and crannies of the battlefield that you don't typically see here in Thompson Station. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's a cold day here in Middle Tennessee. I'm gonna head back to my car, go over to Homestead Manor, and uh, I'm gonna grab a coffee and a chocolate chip cookie. I'm glad my brother-in-law's watching now too. That's pretty cool. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna head back to my car and grab some coffee over at the coffee shop. Have a great weekend.